The British Prime Minister is wrapping up his trip to India. The leaders have discussed defence, energy and trade ties and announced an ambition to seal a free trade deal by the end of the year. First of all, the, the free trade deal, I, I think there are going to be some difficult issues. Uh, tariffs, uh, you know, uh, tariffs on, on, on whiskey uh, is, a, is a tough one. Uh, it would be a great thing, I think, if, if we could if we could if we could fix that. But you know, there are uh, there are all sorts of, uh, of things that need to be uh, addressed. I think, that, but there are big big opportunities. On on your point about defence and, and how that's going to how that's going to work. Look, you're, you're entirely right. What we what we've agreed is that there has to be a focus on a company to company basis. And, and and so when we look at these. Uh, some of these projects that I've described, whether it's uh, electric propulsion for, for ships or, or new aero, aero engines for, uh, for fighters or, or undersea technology or, 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 or whatever it happens to be, uh, what we're going to do is make sure that we bring our companies uh, together. The Prime Ministers of India and the UK discussed the next generation of defence and security collaborations across five domains, land, sea, air, space and cyber. The United Kingdom will provide support for new Indian-designed and built fighter jets. It will also seek to support India's requirements for new technology to identify and respond to threats in the Indian Ocean. The British government will also support greater defence and security collaboration with India over the coming decade. London will issue an open general export licence to New Delhi and reduce bureaucracy to shorten delivery times for defence procurement. Meanwhile, the Indian Prime Minister reiterated that the pair have agreed to deepen cooperation in defence, including the manufacture, technology, design and development of items. Prime Minister Modi has dubbed this support as the Atmanibar Bharat Plan. हमने रक्षा क्षेत्र में सहयोग बढ़ाने पर भी सहमति व्यक्त की है रक्षा क्षेत्र में मैन्युफैक्चरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी डिजाइन और डेवलपमेंट सभी क्षेत्रों में यूके द्वारा आत्मनिर्भर भारत के समर्थन का हम स्वागत करते हैं आज हमने अपने क्लाइमेट और एनर्जी पार्टनरशिप को और अधिक गहन करने का निर्णय लिया हम यूके को भारत के नेशनल हाइड्रोजन मिशन में शामिल होने के लिए आमंत्रित करते हैं Well, our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddhant Sibal, is joining me now from New Delhi. He's been following this visit very closely indeed. Siddhant, tell me from an Indian perspective, is this being viewed as a successful visit overall? Well, yes, it is being seen as a very successful visit in terms of uh, trade, uh, in terms of defence. There is no shadow of party gate here in India during the visit. In fact, uh, the UK Prime Minister multiple times mentioned about his Gujarat visit uh, today here in Delhi. First at the Presidential Palace, the Rashtrapati Bhavan earlier in the morning. And then uh, standing alongside the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, he talked about the welcome he got in Gujarat, which made him feel like he is Sachin Tendulkar or Bollywood star Amitabh Bachchan. But he also uh, called uh, on Prime Minister Narendra Modi as a special friend. So the optics were there and there were deliverables in terms of defence. Uh, we know that UK has said that uh, it is uh, going to offer and has in fact offered uh, India's support when it comes to building fighter jets. But also on trade deal, there was um, uh, a, a, a political will that it will be concluded very soon. Both sides have given a, a kind of deadline in terms of Diwali. The UK Prime Minister said that it should be concluded. The Indian side has said that by fourth quarter of this year it will be concluded. And also uh, regarding India's two major concerns. One is of course the rising Khalistani extremism. A task force has been formed and also on economic offenders. He mentioned, the Prime Minister mentioned uh, that uh, this was discussed uh, and uh, uh, while uh, the extradition has been given a uh, go-ahead, there are still legal hurdles. And Siddhar, talk about the issue of Ukraine, because there are clearly differences between the two sides on how to approach 
Russia's role and its invasion of the country. But it feels like uh, London and New Delhi have come to an accommodation, really, about the different perspectives that they have on this. Well, yes, uh, it, it, that's perhaps one of the major issues where there are divergences between the two sides. But uh, it looked like uh, that UK Prime Minister was very sensitive about what to say and when to say. Uh, there was the protocol press statement by both uh, the uh, Prime Ministers in which, interestingly, there was no mention of Ukraine by uh, the uh, visiting Prime Minister, uh, Prime Minister of uh, UK. While there was a mention of Ukraine by the Indian uh, side, the Indian Prime Minister talked about uh, the need for dialogue, respect for territorial integrity and sovereignty. Uh, what has happened previously when the Japanese Prime Minister visited, when there was this virtual uh, summit with the Australian Prime Minister, both the foreign leaders had strongly condemned the Russian invasion. That was not the case this time. Yes, in the standalone presser, there was a lot of questions on Ukraine. He talked at length on Ukraine about his conversation with Prime Minister, announced that UK will open a mission in uh, Kyiv. But uh, largely, it looks like both sides have come to terms uh, their, with their own perspective, but are willing to work, especially on practical uh, 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 purposes, especially when it comes to energy, on more green energy, so that, of course, both sides can do away with perhaps Russian energy. Sidant, you mentioned Partygate uh, at the top there. Uh, Boris Johnson has been followed by British journalists during this Indian trip, and they have wanted to ask about it. But is your feeling that it hasn't in India uh, overshadowed the visit because Prime Minister Boris Johnson will know that he's flying home into an ongoing political storm. He's probably enjoyed being away for a couple of days. Well, perhaps he was very happy uh, about his visit to India, especially his visit to Gujarat, which made him feel that uh, he is uh, he's Sachin Tendulkar or Amitabh Bachchan. Uh, in fact, there was this question during the standalone presser by the British uh, media that will he be, by, uh, be the Prime Minister by October, because October is the uh, timeline, the deadline being given for the conclusion of free trade uh, talks and he wa he strongly said that yes he will be the prime minister by october of this year uh, of uh, of united kingdom so uh, a strong sense of confidence uh, he had of course at the presser and of course uh, perhaps this these two day visits uh, to india provided him uh, a breather from of course the heat back home Siddharth, thank you very much indeed. That's Siddharth Sibal, our uh, correspondent joining us live from New Delhi.